everyone, it is Holly with Never Quite Perfect, the channel all about drinks, tea, and cocktails. Tonight, it's a little bit of both. I have an unboxing of a purchase I made from Etsy. This is from the shop. Oh, it's Sunshine something. Sharing Sunshine is on the box. Yeah, Sharing Sunshine Gifts. This I am excited about. It is a Camp Craft Cocktail Infusion Kit. I got the flavor Brunch Punch. It was $24.99, $9.60 shipping, and $1.50 tax. So it was a total of $36.09. You're supposed to be able to use this kit twice. So let's check out what I got. So there is the packing slip. A little card where you can find their shop a little thank you note then there are these I guess recipe cards so it has brunch punch plus bourbon so this is if you use the kit to infuse bourbon then they also have or you could use vodka. Then there is another one if you use rum or tequila. This shop also has a membership club. So you'd get a new gift each month for three months. Each month's shipment would include one camp craft cocktail infuser kit, four cocktail recipes, four appetizer recipes, one sweet or salty treat, and one surprise essential to boost your happy hour experience, i.e. a strainer, a shot glass, etc. $119 for three months. That sounds interesting. Then there is this little tag that says Yule Fuel. That's cute. Then Unique Gifting, celebrating small business and artisans. Just so you know, we love to give gifts and we've snuck this extra present into your box just for you to enjoy. And that was this little ornament. Okay, then there is all this paper because this comes in a glass jar. So it has the flavor up here, brunch punch cherry orange pineapple citrus infused non-gmo vegan sugar camp craft cocktails the idea is you add 12 ounces of spirits refrigerate for three days and you enjoy 8 to 16 drinks from it find recipes pairing tips and online store at www.campcraftcocktails.com 99% disapproved by our teetotaling grandmothers. <laughs> Consume within 30 days of infusion. Store in a cool, dry place. Alcohol not included. So I am going to give this a try. I will be back in three days to let you know how it works out. I'm going to try it. I haven't decided which liquor I'm going to try, but I also want to try infusing it with a black tea because I thought that would be pretty yummy too. It doesn't have to be alcohol. So I will be back. So I have uh, my camp, camp craft cocktails infusions jar. This is the brunch punch. I have decided to infuse vodka, not vodka. Oh my goodness, rum the first time. So I'm just going to use Bacardi. Oh my gosh, this smells good. Oh, this smells so good. So let's fill that up. This is why I don't use my expensive room for these things. Now we're going to stick that in the fridge, let that infuse for three days, and then try it out. All right, this brunch punch cocktail kit has been infusing for five days. You only need to do three, but life's been crazy. So I'm going to now strain it into here 
and yeah, I don't have a good bar strainer, unfortunately. Yeah, this is around. I've decided for my second infusion, I'm going to do tea though. Well, it'll still have some rum taste to it because of the rum that's in there. I'll have to strain this again when I use it because there's some stuff floating in there. But <laughs> such is the life. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna infuse it with some tea tonight. And here we have our rum. If you remember, this was Bacardi. So it was nice and clear. No, it's nice and dark. It smells very fruity. So I will be making one of the cocktails from their cocktail card with this. Brunch punch plus rum. We will need pineapple juice. shake and then top with the lemon lime soda okay we are taking one ounce of pineapple juice I'm normally a little more organized I have been baking Christmas cookies almost all day two ounces of our infused rum We are supposed to shake that with ice. Oh my gosh. Poor cat. <laughs> he was trying to get food. Did you give him food? Yeah, I just gave him food. We strain that into our glass. That looks disgusting. <laughs> it does look kind of disgusting. That looks like something you would do like in soup. And top it with lemon lime soda. I had to actually go out and buy some Sprite because... I don't... You have some back there. Is there some back there? I didn't think there yeah. was. See, I don't even know what's behind my own bar. Well, Let's I top do. it with Sprite. Here it is. That's yummy. It's delicious. Delicious. I'm definitely infusing that with tea and seeing how that goes. I'm sure it'll still have some rum to it because of the rums all in the fruit, but I think it'll be delicious. If you don't want alcoholic tea, do the tea first. <laughs> don't be like me. This is good. I love it. I'll let you know what I think of the tea.